So if you're like me and you've been teaching for a good while, chances are you've already got a pretty impressive repertoire of assignments that you could give your students. And you don't want to just scrap those assignments because we're going one-to-one. -one. So how would I get this, which usually would be, be done on pencil and paper, into Schoology to be done electronically? Here's how. First, you'll want to go to Admin. Once there, you want to click on the Add Assignment button. Now, we can call this whatever we want, but I'm going to call it Napoleon Reading Article. Now, down here, you'll want to set a category. If you have not yet set a category for your class in the grade setup, you're going to want to do that before you have any graded assignments in the course. For now, I'm going to click on this category. And also, for the PD period here, you guys should see quarters 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you'll want to use whichever quarter you are in. You also can assign a due date if you'd like. For now, I'm going to use this and leave it blank. Then, for the description, you always want to have a detailed list of instructions for students. In this case, it can be really simple. In this example, I've listed the instructions are to simply download the template below and then save your work and use the submit button on the right to upload. Now, in order for them to access a template, I have to put it in. Well, this right here will allow me to upload a file. You also have these options here that you can use depending on what your needs are. For now, I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go into my downloads. And I'm going to select the Napoleon reading article and then open up the file. Now, you'll see that the template actually shows up here. So that whenever students click on that, they're going to download this exact assignment where they will be able to edit the responses and put their answers at the bottom. Now, another thing I could also do here is if I wanted to, I could simply copy and paste this whole assignment directly into the Schoology assignment as well. And usually the formatting is, is pretty good. In this case, you can see that there were some errors, so I would want to edit that out. Now I'm ready to scroll down and click Create. Now the assignment is ready for students to, to work on, but how do students get to it? In this case, I've logged in as a student. I'm going to go to Courses, and I'm going to go to the course that the student is assigned to work in. From the student standpoint, they're going to see the assignment appear wherever you placed it within the course. In this case, right here underneath the entire World History folder. If I clicked on it from a student standpoint, I will see exactly what was placed into the description first and foremost. I can also download a template and do the work directly in the template. Once I'm complete with the assignment, I'm going to click on the Submit Assignment button. Here, the students have several options. In order to upload a file, you would simply click on the file button and then choose the assignment that you want to upload. This is really important that students save this work before they go to upload because otherwise it's going to take the most current version of their work that was last saved and upload that. Then the student can hit submit. Also as an option, if this student wanted to copy and paste their work, they could hit create and then paste their work directly into the field here. Once the student is done, they should submit. Now, you'll see that the student has submitted the assignment, and it also gives them the option to resubmit. So if you, as a teacher, give feedback to the student and they don't like what they received, they're able to use your feedback in order to resubmit the work and get a better grade. Now, let's go back to the teacher's view. Now that you've had a student submit an assignment, you, you're going to see that over here on the right under submissions. So from a student standpoint, it says submit. But from a teacher standpoint, you actually see the submissions that are here. And you can click on the name of a student and access their coursework. Notice that the document loads directly within Schoology, so you don't have to go out. If this is not convenient for you, you can download the work and then edit directly on the actual file. But in this case, you can you have several options here that's going to enable you to grade. You can write on the work itself. You can also add different types of notes and things of this nature. For now, I'm not going to do any of those things, but I am going to go ahead and give the student a grade in the top right. If you use a rubric to grade this, the rubric criteria will show, and all you need to do is click on those criteria in order to give the grade. I'm going to give this student 100 for her hard work. Now, I want to say for feedback, great work. And I also want them to be able to see this. This comment is going to show up in the gradebook for the course. So whenever students access their gradebook to see how they're doing in the course, they're going to see this comment as long as you click the Show to Student box. Now, I'm going to click Submit. And that's all there is to it.